One take. What does an engineering manager actually do? Let's talk about it. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Caleb King. And this is a question I was asking earlier in my career when I was more of a developer. And I think now people who are more or less in a dev role, but they want to transition over to management, they really want to know, like, what do I need to do to become an engineering manager? And like, what is it that they do that is different than maybe a developer? And I think it really depends on where you work, but what, what we'll do today is we'll at least cover the baseline of like what we think an engineering manager should be doing regardless of the organization. Now, like I said before, it really does depend on where you work because a place like Google or a Fangrelay company, they have so many roles that like expand. So like really they have like their version of like junior, mid-level, senior, and then they have like the next batch of like seniors. The larger you get in org, the more titles you need to have to kind of keep hierarchy and order in place in some shape or form. Now, traditionally, engineering managers, in my opinion, they're really people who have been technical, but they have the people skills or the management skills or leadership skills, ideally all three. And they more or less want to go on the people side of things and be maybe less hands-on. Now, that's not every engineering manager. Some are very hands-on. Some engineering managers are pretty much the tech lead, but the difference is they have management authority over some of their reports. So not only are they coding and mentoring, advocating and expiring, they're actually doing the HR work too. So sometimes there's a lot on your plate. I always kind of say engineering managers have to be technical, but in terms of what that means, it really depends. Usually, you've at least become a senior engineer in whatever type of software developer you are. So if you're an API person, if you're a platform person, if you're um, more an ops side of things where you're doing like um, build pipelines and CI, CD and, you know, making sure you have instances available and working with the cloud or maybe you're like a front end UI type developer, whatever like role you're kind of like fitting in or maybe you're full stack and you're touching all different pieces for you to be a manager. They usually want you to at least show your experienced developer. So minimum, let's just say seven years experience, right? Really want to hit that senior title mark. Then really at that point, it depends on you, your people skills, your communication. Are you able to lead? Do you come off as a leader? Do you handle conflict well? And I'm not talking like a showdown, <laughs> like, you know, if you bump heads with somebody, like how do you handle it, right? So overall, engineering manager to me, technical person, more of a people manager. There are some who are technical and more in the weeds. Really just depends on where you work. What they actually do on a day-to-day -day basis, let's just assume you work at like a organization of 500 or 1,000 people. Pretty good sample size, room for growth, but not clearly like a startup, right? Usually engineering manager around that company size is going to be reviewing code, looking at PR requests, understanding the software development lifecycle at that organization. From when a feature is being requested to the actual development of such feature to the testing of the feature all the way out to when it goes out to production all that being said engineering managers are really like hey i need to keep things organized because really no one's paying attention to it so that's my job that is really where i feel like engineering managers can make a huge impact is understanding all the moving pieces but also know like people are going to be responsible for their pieces they're not going to be too worried about other people's pieces. And that's kind of where the management part comes in. Don't have to be the best software developer in the world, but you do have to have experience to at least sit in the room and ask the right questions. Occasionally be willing to get your hands dirty. And then really, if you want to find out how to go like beyond management, like, hey, I'm managing, you know, a group of developers. What you really want to try to do is try to find ways to make impact across your department, across multiple teams. And that's really where you can go from like an engineering manager to a senior engineering manager. Cause it really comes down to ownership. Like the more you take on, and it has to happen organically, but the more you can take on, the more you can kind of prove like, hey, I'm ready to manage more. And I think that's more or less the career path for engineering managers. But what did I miss? Did I cover this topic about engineering managers? For the record, they can make anywhere from 150000 to damn near 350000 Really depends on whether you're working for an AI company, a startup, thing related, or if you're working at maybe some of the more mid-level, mid-tier type companies. Very lucrative role. The interview process is usually a mix of technical and people management and leadership skills. I would say my advice to most people who want to become engineering manager, learn how engineering managers are interviewed. Because a lot of people who are developers, they think of like how they built their application at their job. But if I ask you how to build an application as an EM, I'm gonna expect you to be able to articulate basic system design to understand you have a grand scheme of how applications work. 
you're going to have to be able to dive into at least look at code, maybe not necessarily write it, but you have to be able to keep up in those conversations. Then have your answers prepared for what did you do working with somebody you had conflict with? Tell me about a failure you had and how did you overcome it? You really have to put yourself in a mindset of how to grant interview you for an engineering manager. Last tip is if you are a senior developer and you're struggling landing engineering management roles, I think what you probably need to do is maybe tweak your resume to kind of highlight if you're a tech lead or some type of leadership aspects. Be very clear on like, hey, you're expiring to be a manager in your summary or objective or even when you're talking to the recruiter. I think last thing too is also understand the organizations you're applying to. If you're trying to be an engineering manager at an established company and you don't have any EM experience, that's gonna be tough. That's going to be really tough. If you do it at like a startup, mid-sized company, somewhere in between, you might have a better shot. And actually what happens a lot of times is if you are a senior dev at like a big corporate enterprise, it's always fun to jump to a company who's scaling to try to be like that enterprise because you've kind of seen how one organization has done and organized it, see the pros and cons. You can take that knowledge and you can actually take it to the startup or the smaller company and then be able to make an impact and be a lead and do management type stuff but that's all the tips i have for you let me know in the comment section below if you want us to cover more what actually this tech person does and hit that like button make sure to subscribe tech out